Another controversial three, all right? So speaking of our friend Max Strews, uh, his three was overturned in the opening minute of the third quarter. His foot was out of bounds. That three was overturned several minutes after the play, and he coach Eric Spolstra had this to say about that. I was in shock. I was asking, uh, you know, Quinny about that. Um, the fact that it happened, you know, three to four or five minutes later in game time, uh, that that does change the context of, of how you're playing. Um, you know, we were starting to gain some momentum, and you feel like it's a, you know, seven, eight-point game, and all of a sudden it's a 13-point game. But, look, uh, that's not the reason we lost. Wow, look at, look at his expression there. I mean, he could hardly believe it. So that's taken off the board several possessions after the shot. I mean, how much does that mess with what you're doing? Do you understand what Spo was saying? Yeah, I totally understand. It bothers you a lot. It does? It does, because, you, okay. because when you're playing the game, you're seeing the score, and you're playing the score. You know, there's sometimes where I would tell my guys, hey, let's keep the game close into the fourth quarter, and I'll take it from there, right? So when, when the game is tight, and you're seeing your score, you know, whether you're plus three or minus three in, a, in, this, in this case, um, it does bother you, you know, because you, you got you to manage the game. And you can't manage the game if the score is off, and then now it's changed four or five minutes later. It makes it difficult for you to try to manage that, the outcome. Yeah, I mean, because this game was ebb and flow, right? So they had seven double-digit leads, and Miami yeah. kept coming back and chipping away at that. Is a three-pointer make that much difference to you in the end, Alan? I mean, it does. It's, it's, it didn't decide the game. I, I wouldn't say it decided the game, but you can understand the momentum feel uh, of that point where you're in a timeout and suddenly you look up at the scoreboard and there's three points off the board. Now you're looking at a, a double-digit deficit where you thought you were a little bit closer, but you got to get the play right. Like you yeah. want the play to be right. And so right. that's important. And the referees do this during a game. If they aren't sure, they'll they'll signal for a review and you have to wait till the next timeout to review it. And that's what they'll do back uh, in the NBA offices and then they'll watch it back and then they'll let the referees know yes or no like was it a two or a three or was his foot out of bounds and they catch it barely out of bounds you want to get it right they got it right it's just unfortunate now if this happened in the fourth quarter with like three minutes to go it's a right. much sure. different conversation Absolutely. but they had plenty of time to recover right I mean Monica you were there yeah. what's your perspective but but this was the Eastern Conference Finals game seven it still to me is a much different conversation I, I just think this is where we are with the technology of it all. But to me, reviewing whether a play was a two or three or whether the basket counted altogether are two different things. Like, I agree with Spo in terms of the window sort of elapsing. And if they needed to check whether that counted, I know this isn't necessarily the rules as, it, as they stand right now. Like, that should have been checked on the spot because I just think you let that much time go off. And that's not fair. That's just not fair to either team. That's not how you play basketball. Like, no. Mm -mm. I don't like it. I don't see that. I think is that Scott Forrest from the baseline? I couldn't see who the referee was, but I did not see him signal. It's, and then the other referee you see right behind Robert Williams is checking. Yeah. So one of them had to have felt like something was off and wanted yeah. to make sure so you gotta, because you see and you got to acknowledge it in the moment. It. Then yeah. But you're saying stop it in the moment. Yeah, if he was out of bounds, Hani's out of bounds. So I was going to say, yeah, NFL review, stop made, it, review, look, look made, at the tape. Uh, oh, not yeah. the, not but if you're going to, to stop the game. But you yeah. don't, you can't put the points on the board and then take them off. I mean, they did it, but I would rather uh -huh. get get it right than go back and change the score. Yeah, that must have been like this strange moment, right? As you were there, I mean, there was so much happening. What was it like being there? And, and, and then that happened, and they called it over the right. They announced it yep. as he was at yeah. the line. Um, I mean, the, the crowd, what are you going to do? The crowd Wrong. obviously acknowledges it, suppose ticked off, mm. but what, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, all right. What you going to do? Uh, well, it's the Celtics going on to the finals. That's what yep. you're gonna do. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.